What you guys think? Something juicy? Someone lose their golden doubloon? Their silver ingot? <laughs> their bottle top? One of the many options, I suppose. See what it is. It's out. Come on, baby. Right here. There it is. Oh, even better. <laughs> they lost their freaking pull tab, man. They lost their pull tab. I gotta try to return that to the owner. Return to sender, huh? Mail that back to the owner. I think every soda can people are gonna buy from now on need to uh, <laughs> be traceable. All right, let's switch it over from coin deep to coin fast. Just doing a little bit of investigation action over here. I am liking the orcs at the park though. It feels nice. Feels very, uh, geez, look at that. Should we take that? Big old freaking uh, eye, I don't know, eye hook or something. We can hang a swing back at home, hey? You buy that at the store, it's probably gonna cost you like eight bucks, eh? The come up. <laughs> gonna start selling all the assorted iron on Craigslist. <laughs> Some scrap right on the top. Pretty show. Yep. A little piece of like foil or can slaw. Let's see. I am in a very odd spot, unconventional spot today because the parks are freaking popping. So I think I said it in my last episode, uh, sometimes it's either like metal detect the unconventional spots or don't do any metal detecting at all. Today I was going for the unconventional. I'm not sure if this is iron or something a little bit better. Let's see. We're in the bushes now, man. It's out. What is that? Um, what is that? Uh, it's a little, little tiny piece uh, to a bulb, I think. Maybe to like a headlight or something. I don't know, some type of little bulb, I think. Or the base to a bulb without the glass. <sighs> Metal detecting is an awesome workout though, let me tell you. This one sounds a little scratchy. What do you guys think? Maybe? I don't know. Don't listen to me. I'm still learning the ORX. I'm trying to call out the signals and sounds, but Let's see what it is. Is it in the hole? Another one. Look, another one. Whoa. <laughs> I guess that's from like a little bulb or something. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. Maybe it's like off of a beach chair or something. I don't really know. I do know that it's some junk though. It's some garbaggio. <laughs> okay, this spot. Eh. Probably gonna move past this spot. Ah, there's activity. There's a pole tab right there. <laughs> a little bit of activity over here. 85, 87. That one sounds better. 84. I wonder if it's just a bunch of those little bulb things. Let's see. It's in there. What we got? Oh, even better. Even better than a bulb thing, dude. It's a crusty ancient zinc penny. <laughs> Alrighty then. Not too shabby on that one. <laughs> we think we're gonna come out with today, guys. 11 cents. 11 cents and three pull tabbies. This one. Still can't tell if it sounds good or not. It sounds pretty good, I guess. It's right there in the 80s though. I don't think it's gonna be a coin. I'm just basically digging everything today just to see what comes out, you know? I don't have any real plan. Just kind of going for it. Yep, that is another one of those little thingy majiggies. Really don't know what those are too. So let's keep on going, huh? I'm gonna go over by this little workout station. There's like some bars over in this direction, as well as a little picnic uh, bench. Kind of swing fast over here. See if there's anything at the base of the bench. 5960, should we investigate them? Maybe pull tab numbers? That's a little bit lower than a nickel, I think. So let's see. 59, we got the bench, we got some pull-up bars over there. I hit those pull-up bars a couple months ago, but there could be some fresh drops over there. So this one is 
a piece of ancient can slaw. <laughs> Some more junk cleaned up from the park. Uh, I hope we can at least uh, get up on the like karm account by cleaning up the junk. I was metal detecting, a kid came up to me earlier and I found like a piece of wire and I put it in my pouch. And he's like, why'd you take that? Why do you think? You gotta take your trash, man. You can't just leave your trash. What are you gonna do? You gonna freaking put your trash back in the hole? 90. Couple at the base of the picnic table. Pull tab and a... Hello? Something, oh, there it is. Pull tab and a copper, baby. 1978 copper penny. <laughs> Not bad though. I'm just liking the feel of the ORX though. I am having fun out here. Doesn't matter really what I find, you know. I don't care if I find the freaking crusty zinc pull tab. I mean, I'd love to find the golden doubloon. <laughs> Maybe a gold ring, gold chain or something, but eh. Don't think it's happening in these spots over here today. But we can always hope, huh? Eat. There's this like a little tiny station. It's used occasionally. I see people use it. Can't get too close to it though. Could probably lower the sensitivity a little bit, but eh. Sounds like maybe something deep there. All right. I don't know about this one. Oh. Something. 67. I was about to walk away. Interesting. That one was reading higher. My other ones were like uh, 62. Yeah, now it's 63. Interesting. Okay. Not too bad, I guess. Only one coin, but check thoroughly, you know, you never know. All it takes is that one, man, that one square inch of area that you swing in, and that could be the freaking gold ring. So, all right, well, getting right between here, right in between the bars. All right, I think I cleared it out of the nickel. <laughs> There's foil on the surface. See a rubber band or something. All right, guys. Uh, what do you think? Let's hit up on three more targets. See what we can get. Three more with the orc, baby, in the unconventional location. See if we can hit on a couple coins. I'm going to be honest. I haven't really hit on many coins in the playgrounds in a while. So today I think I got at least a couple of nickels, huh? Always check at the base of the trees. People always like to take cover for shade, huh? But like I say, I never come out here with any like high expectations. I just kind of, I would call myself more of a casual detectorist, you know. I think there is like different uh, levels. <laughs> oh, there's a nice high one. 85, 86. Yeah, I'd say I'm kind of a casual. I'm still learning, always like kind of keeping an open mind. I like the parks. I know that they're full of trash and you're realistically, I mean, you're gonna find stuff, but you're gonna have to put in a lot of effort to find stuff out here at your modern day parks. Unless you live in like a really high class neighborhood where no one litters and everyone's wearing jewelry. I think when you're at an area where, you know, the town is more, I don't know, middle, middle to lower class, people just litter more and they're probably not wearing as much jewelry. But I always say too, like even the broke, you know, even people with no money a lot of the times have expensive jewelry just to kind of make it seem like they got money. You know what I'm saying? People with big, huge freaking gold chains and stuff. In reality, a lot of them don't have a lot of money. There's a pull tab. So I don't know, it's a give and take, I guess. Let's see, anything at all. All right, let's hop spots, I guess. <sighs> Go to another unconventional in front of the, uh, the parking lot sometimes too, you know? 
nice high one right there I think 85 86 is gonna be majority of the time penny but on any machine pennies you know they could be little rings or something I pulled a couple tungsten rings that sounded like a penny Ugh. I would say the uh, likely it's gonna just be a penny but the majority of them will just be uh, what you're used to, you know, but you'll get surprised if you keep digging those signals up Do you guys still like dig up pennies? Do you have pennies notched in on your machines? I don't always dig up pennies, but a lot of the times I will You just cuz you never know, huh? Foil seal right about there Sounds like some iron probably it's like squeaking Sounds like something big. Got all kinds of signals over here. Another penny signal, 85. See if I can like just go through here and just see, you know, pick out a couple things. 85 again, very likely another penny. 85, zinc penny, very likely. 72, let's give me a double beep. That one's different, right on top of the surface. There it is, what is that? All righty then. Hopefully that's not any uh, criminal evidence because that's a nine millimeter uh, shell that actually looks pretty fresh, relatively fresh. Maybe I should, uh, just in case, <laughs> I do not want to get involved in that one, huh? <laughs> so let's put him in the pouch, you know, just put him in the pouch. <laughs> I'm kidding, but you never know, I guess. All kinds of stuff right here. Is this a bunch of them maybe? Somebody just firing off right here? Yep, look, another one. Yo, somebody was firing off right here at the local park, dude. Recently, too, I'm pretty sure. Nine millimeter uh, cartridge right there. Something else around here, too. I think there might be more. I don't really want to find them all, but... Let's see. No, that's a different signal now. It's a 53. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's that one. 85 again, probably a zinc. I'm just feeling it out though, you know. I might go back and dig those ones, but I'm just feeling it out. Another one right there. Look at these. How do these get out here? And why are they here? Another nine millimeter case. Okay. 69, a little bit different maybe. Yep. Big old piece of wire, fence wire. Just power digging them though, you know? Let's make sure this was a penny right here. We're getting into power digging mode now. Let's see. You just never know, man. You just never know until you dig it out, right? You can have an idea. It was a penny, but there's no guarantee. With these machines, you just never know. I think even with the, your expensive machines now, you know? Just really never know. But that one, uh, listen to the tone on that one. These more expensive machines do maybe give you more of an audio cue. So if I had to guess, just listen to it for a second. Can you hear that like uh, gruntiness in it? It's got to either be some iron or some foil in with the target or just a not so good target. So let's see, because I have like my tiny, tiny foil discriminated out. Is that another, what is that? Oh, that's part to a vape right there. Definitely a little part to like a vape pen. So that's a little broken uh, piece off of that. You find weird stuff over here, you know? Yeah, that's what that was too. It was giving me like a scratchy signal. 80 right on top here. Geez, this is the hot spot, huh? Is that it? Yep, it's an odd type of bottle cap, probably off of some uh, some type of alcoholic beverage. So now I'm right here, very close to the. Look, there's a uh, there's a bottle cap right there on the surface, and you hear it. If you pay attention, though, I'm already learning these tones. That does not sound like a good tone. Like it doesn't sound like a coin. It's trying to discriminate it out, I'm pretty sure. That's why it sounds like that. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I could definitely tell here in person. 
Sounded a bit different than a desirable target. I want to show you too. Well, I was just going to say here, I want to show you this little piece of balled up foil. I'm on the edge of, um, I'm, let me just show you real quick on this machine. I think your foil, like your aluminum foil, the small pieces start to come in somewhere around the number target ID 20. But what I have right now, I have, uh, I'm running coin fast, but I'm 33 discrimination. I was testing some pieces of small foil in front of the coil and um, the majority of the ultra, ultra tiny scrap pieces of foil are discriminated out, but I kept it just enough. So like if there is a gold pendant or something out there that will still hit on it. So I'll show you this little balled up piece of foil. It sounds scratchy but it's coming through a little bit because of the size of foil it is. I don't know if I'm like, I don't know if I'm confusing you guys, but basically if I were to notch it down one more number, I'll show you real quick. Discrimination, turn it down to 32 or 31. Now it's starting to hit it a little bit better. Let's go down to 30 now. See, now it hits it way, way better. So, I mean, I could be losing out on like the tiny, tiny gold, like the maybe gold earring, gold chain, tiny gold chain, but in an area like this, I'm not really looking for a gold chain because of how much of this crap is around. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to kind of use odds in your favor if you don't just want to be digging up aluminum foil all day long. So with that one, I think that was a decent little episode. We, uh, we hit some decent targets there towards the end, I guess, the nine millimeter casings and a little vape pen. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little ORX session. We're packing it up. We're going home, getting something to eat. So. Appreciate you guys watching. Hey, if you enjoyed it, I always appreciate it, man. Hook me up with the thumbs up, dude. Spank the thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Another bottle cap right there. And hit that thumbs down if you didn't like it, you know? And if you hit that thumbs down, maybe leave me a comment down below and let me know why you didn't like it so I can try to improve next time. So appreciate you guys watching and we will see you very soon. They lost their freaking pull tab, man. They lost their pull tab.